I love seeing all the filmmakers here. I love seeing the, you know, the new filmmakers with the veteran filmmakers. It's it's a great feeling to see that passion in the room. I'm not an actor, and uh, when I got nominated, I was I was still in disbelief, and oh, well, here I am, you know, and I, I'm just enjoying the moment. We're nominated for the Casavetes Award, and we're also up for Best Male Lead. My, my first time after Pedro Castaneda, I was nominated against some Oscar winners that I'm very, very pleased with. It's the most challenging. Um, I would say sleeping about two hours a night for six weeks when you're shooting a film. Um, it's, it's so strange because, like, your whole life you just you want to make films. You can't wait to make that film. And then while you're making them, obviously it's, it's so difficult because it just drains you of everything. And then when you come here, this is the time when you can enjoy yourself and relax. Our film was actually made for under $50,000, so we're less than one-tenth of the uh, budget constraints there. Why is it so important to have the Independent Spirit Awards? It's a must. Um, you have to have them because otherwise we would have hardly any films <laughs> that would be worth watching in this country. I mean, independent film is all that's that, that's left, and luckily we're in this sort of resurgence right now over the last ten years or so. But it's it's always dangerous. And it's always it's always on the on just sort of teetering on the edge of being too difficult to find financing for the kind of stories that need to be told that aren't being told. So this, this kind of thing gets us um, the publicity, the recognition, sort of puts it into the, the public's sort of collective imagination and reminds them that there are other things out there that they can watch. Molly Sims. <laughs> That's Molly Sims? Yeah. Wow. How many screenplays has it been since you get to this one? No, this was, this was actually my second screenplay. My first screenplay I tried to write when I was still in film school, and it was a complete disaster, uh, and thankfully we'll never see the light of day. I should probably burn the one existing copy of it. Somehow, in between when I wrote my first screenplay and when I wrote my second, I, I discovered that I needed to learn what the hell I was doing. That's what I did. <laughs> it was really nice to be able to call my parents and, um, and tell them to go online and look it up and to see my name right next to you, Kate Blanchett and Marissa Tomei. It was really, really cool. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think oh, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Are you opening the show? No. no. Uh, I wrote the, the, the movie nine years ago and it bounced around with a bunch of different producers, but it never clicked. It never happened. It didn't, wasn't going to happen until wow. Sidney Lumet said that's the That's script fabulous. I want to direct. Okay, so you bet. My name is Jeff Nichols. I'm the writer director of a film called Shotgun Stories. Uh, it's up for the Cassavetes Award, uh, which is a film made for under five hundred thousand uh, dollars. And our film takes place in rural Southeast Arkansas, which is where I'm from. And uh, it follows a feud that develop that develops between two sets of half brothers after their father dies. Um, it's pretty intense family drama. What was the most challenging thing for making a movie under five hundred thousand? Um, money to start, <laughs> and. Uh, and then just keeping it going, you know, because when you don't have a lot of cash, you can't just you can't just roll out the production schedule, you know. At each step, there's there's a pause, and you have to go find more cash. And so, for us, it was just kind of staying focused and making sure we didn't let it just slip into anonymity. That we actually finished this film and, and got it out in the world, and a little bit of luck, you know. Now, what about your cast? Did you hire them or or cast them out of Los Angeles, or did you do a lot of local casting because of that? We did a fair amount of local casting because we couldn't afford to fly people in, um, but then. You know, the lead actor is a guy named Michael Shannon, who couldn't be here today because his flight got snowed in in New York, but he's in Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. Uh, he's been in over 30 films, and, you know, he read the script. I wrote the script for him, and uh, he just liked it, and he showed up and did it for nothing. He ended up giving me money. Um, and so, you know, I think in the spirit of independent filmmaking, you know, he was the guy that showed up and did it, and he really raised the level of the film, you know, because the rest of the guys were like my friends and buddies, and then you had this real actor, so, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations, Bye. and good luck, and um, when's your next film coming out? Um, right now, we're working on it with Killer Films, Christine Vachon's company out of New York. Uh, it's called Goat. Uh, it's based on a memoir by the same name, and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll start shooting this summer, so... Yeah. My name is Kenny Holiday. My project is Great World of Sound. I play the role of Clarence, a record producer. Coming to discover you. We have the longest running show in Hollywood, uh, in the history of Hollywood. We're going to perform right here, right here at the awards. When are you going to go on? Uh, as soon as they say go, we're going to go grab our guitars. I'm not even going to tune up. I'm just going to start playing. They're doing so many environmental things, you know, they're making it carbon neutral, they have a lot of hybrid vehicles picking people up and uh, recycle paper and uh, energy efficient things. It's really great that they're doing that. Actors that want to 
take all the emotion inside to the character, and Anne can help us do it. So it's very, very good experience to me. And even to the end, I will, I feel nervous because um, uh, my my nervous because uh, I want, I want, I can, I can touch, I can get the get the. 怎么说呢？我要我想要达到导演的要求。Accomplish what Anne wants. Oh, I I want I can accomplish what Anne wants. So I always nervous about about my performance. Tell us about your project. It's called I'm Not There. The movie with Todd Haynes and Kate Blanchett. We're receiving the inaugural Robert Altman Cast Award. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much. What are you looking forward to being here at the Independent Spirit Awards? Oh, it's it's just so relaxed and easy going. Yeah. And how is this so different from the other awards that you've been to? Because it's relaxed and easy going. Yeah. It's called The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. It's about a man who had a stroke at the age of 43 that left him helpless, with, but the ability to blink one eye. And I wrote a film about him from his own book. So this is a true story. Book. Wow, that must have been fascinating. How long did it take you to write this? I can't remember now. I know I was stuck for about three weeks before I had the idea of how to do it. Then I think another seven or eight weeks after that. How true to the script. He's been very true to the script. He's embellished it with the director Julian Schnabel, with imagery and artistic flair. But the way the story is told, sorry, the way the story is told, is as as written in the screenplay. We weren't sure exactly what the movie was going to end up being, so we just kind of went and filmed them. They were they're pretty crazy, but they were、uh, they were wonderful to work with in the, in the end. And how, how were you able to、uh, get in touch with them and well, arrange everything? Well, actually, they were listed in the phone book, and Dan Cloris, my partner, just called them up and said, "Can we have lunch and talk?" And a lot of people have been trying to make a movie. Barbara Streisand had tried to make a movie about them 20 years ago, and they said, "Oh, the Hollywood bullshit. We have, you know, Hollywood." So,、uh, but we were、uh, able to、I'm、kind of、phone. convince them to convince them to do it. I just think it's for, for as an actress, it's really interesting to be able to be a part of a film where it's such a collaboration. There's not a huge vehicle behind it, making decisions based on how lucrative a film will be. It's all creative,、um, and they're the kind of movies that I like to watch more than big movies. So, and I love making them. The film that I'm nominated for, we shot in nine nights. There was no fuss. It was like bliss. Hello, dog. What's up? Yeah. Language lab in me escuela. <laughs> How does being a, a, a painter affect your directing skills? Makes them better. How do you feel being nominated as best director? Good. Marisa, come on. Hola, Marisa. Please, yes. Wow. Talk to us. Come on. Hey Don, how you doing, buddy? Don, hey, it's us, it's us. That was the 23rd annual Independent Spirit Awards. I'm Julia Parker with SoCal.com.